Hey everyone, Sonic Car 99 here, and welcome back to another video done by me. Well, today I am back in my world. Yes, I know I was in here last time, but yeah, um, <laughs> if you ask me, I quite like doing it. But anyway, if you noticed last time, I was in my boat on this tree when I said goodbye to you. But since then, I got out of my boat, and it's done at turn to night, so. That's not good. Then, anyway, if you remember last time, we saw this floating block. Yes, the one floating block. And we also saw this weird thing coming out of the ground. Like, I think it's a mountain. It's hard to tell. Like, it's got the same textures as a mountain. Then, anyway, we're last in the swamp biome. So, yeah, the main thing I want to do today is check out what is that over there. Well, tonight, because it is night time. It's a new moon, too. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, better get down here, from there, and, oh gosh, stuck in the water. Swamp biomes are always trickiest to get out of, because of how much water they have, and also all their vines and everything, like, they're not as tricky, well, okay, I say jungle biomes are even more trickier. Oh no, there's a skeleton. Alright, just kill the zombie. I don't want to get hit by you, Skelly. I just want to go and explore whatever. Wow, that's a big mountain. Wait, look how big that is. Anyway, um... Yeah, oh gosh. What's with that water colour though? It's like half swamp biome colour, half not swamp biome colour, but there's also a cave. I wonder if this actually goes to um, the house and says there's a cave right next to the house. Anyway, wow. That's a huge mountain. Um, yeah, I don't actually know how this even came here. Look, I haven't seen, and it's also slash um spruce. By the looks of this, spruce, uh, spruce, uh, spruce slash um swamp. That's something you don't see every day. But anyway, uh, I'm struggling to get up. Yeah, okay, this is a bit weird. There we go. I knew I'd get up there. And there's a zombie. Is he holding a hoe? Mr. Zombie? No, it's a shovel. Thank you, Mr. Zombie. Anyway. <laughs> don't know what I'm saying. Thank you, Tim. Anyway, um. Do I have any torches? Yes, I have torches. That's, that's good. Because I have no idea where I am. There's a spider right there. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, not much else is here, basically. I can see quite well. Um, there's not even that much mobs here. I can't even hear any. It's all too silent. Hmm. Oh well. So we figured out what this mysterious thing was. Oh, that's a cool cave. It's like all hollowed out. Wow. This is actually quite amazing. Like, too bad I could... Could I? I thought I couldn't, but maybe I could set up a little house in here. Well, how did he get in here? I mustn't have been watching. But anyway, better light up just in case he did spawn in here. And I better build a wall before any other mobs decide to join me. <laughs> I don't want to, um, welcome to the mountain party. <laughs> That'd be actually quite a bad thing. Especially if it's all mobs. Anyway, I just block off where I'm going to put the door for now. But yeah. Hmm. I normally spend my best few nights in caves, so it was a good thing I got the, um, house done that I am in now, but like, having a second house can't be that bad. It'll just help. 
So let's say if I need to come up here and it turns to night, like what has happened, I can just sleep in here. But yeah. Oh no, I ran out. Wait, no, I got another hole. Well, not a whole stack full, but just enough to last me. But yeah, better start um, <laughs> mining up all these loose pieces of stone that are going to be in the way. And yeah. Hold on a minute, I'm just going to um, like pause it and then, yeah, I'll show you how this is after I've finished. See you then. Alrighty, last bit. I am done. Okay, I think this is actually all quite hollowed out. Now I've just got to mine up all this. Did I bring a furnace? No. Oh yeah, I did. I'm just going to place you down. And I'm going to place my crafting table down. And I'm just going to mine up some coal. Well, three pieces, technically. Just so I can make um, some smooth stone to fill in the hole. There we go. I should probably actually put the rest in there. But yeah, not that bad. Um, but I will need a door, so... Maybe, no, uh, dark oak door, how would that... Yeah, that one would probably be more better. Anyway, got just enough wood for that. So yeah. I can just destroy this. Oh, my axe broke. That's not that good. But now I've got myself a door. Slash two. And that one didn't place properly. Whoops. Hopefully, no mobs attack me. I don't see any, so yeah. And here's the stone. There we go. If you ask me, not quite a bad area. Like, I could totally make this more if I had, like, wool, the iron, but I don't, so. Yeah. Wait, no, uh, sorry. <laughs> That's not how you craft wooden planks. I was just going to make some more sticks. There we go, ten sticks. Enough to make a fishing rod. Now, fishing rods can be the most useful weapon and most useful tool. It really depends on how you want to use it, but if you ask me, I think they're the... Oh, wait, no, I don't need another axe. I already got one. Actually, I've got nearly one of every other tool. Except I will need to craft myself another furnace, because I'm leaving these ones here. And the um, coal I found. And another crafting table, which is going to need another piece of wood to make it. There we go. And probably a number chest. There we go, that should be enough. Oh, just out by one. Alrighty, another piece of wood. Alrighty. There we go. That way, I have some starter tools and probably a few weapons as well. Like, there's nothing wrong with being more prepared for when you need it. So I'm just going to do a um, sword and a pickaxe because those are the main things. There we go. And maybe a bowl of mushroom stew. And like, two pieces of rotten flesh. <laughs> I don't know. A torch. Because <laughs> I can also make some more here. Because like. I got the ingredients. Whoops. <laughs> I'm supposed to put them here. There we go. And I think that's about it for what I need to do here. Probably put the three pieces of oak wood in here, and three pieces of sugar cane, just in case, because you never know when I'm going to need to come here. But anyway, <laughs> there's a lot of snow. There's another cave right above it. the one I just built, actually. Now I'm not sure if I heard mobs there, but it just goes straight through. Maybe um, what? Maybe I could even improve on this new one. I'm not actually 100% sure, but anyway. There's a chicken. 
Hello, Mr. Chicken. Hello, Sheep. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Why aren't you getting on my hook? I just want to fish him. There we go. Right to the edge. This could go wrong. Yep, it's gone wrong. Uh, but he did make a lot of snowballs for me. Hmm. Anyway, I need to eat with the sheep. That should be enough for now. Don't overeat because if you overeat, whoa, no! Oh gosh, that was close. I thought I was just gonna die then. It's probably my boots that also saved me. But anyway, <laughs> okay. I think I just scared myself. Look, there's some pumpkins though. That's a good thing. Into the river. Maybe if I found an egg, maybe I could make myself some pumpkin pie. Now, where were the pumpkins? Ah, oh, here they are. I can also hear some rotten flesh. <laughs> no, it's not, not the bestest thing to eat, but anything to keep anyone alive will do. Alrighty. One more. And yeah. This is actually quite amazing. I'm going to have to eat my other piece of steak and walk from now on because, yeah, I'm a bit damaged. But now, of course, I've got to find my way home. Oh, Like, couldn't have this been any exciting? Well, at least we did find out what that thing was. That's the main thing. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Anyway. Am I even near a ravine yet? I don't think I am. I don't have anything in my inventory that will help, so... Yeah, there's no exact way I could um, ride a boat on land. Well, I could, but it'd take forever. And yeah. If worst comes to worst, I've got a fishing rod now, so... I can always fish. Here's the fallen down tree. Might as well just chop it up. I don't mind chopping up fallen down trees. Just because, yeah, it makes more sense than chopping up standing trees. But anyway, here we go. I must at least be near home, aren't I? Well, there's the swamp. So if the swamp's there, then the ravine or something must be over here. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. I think I just made it into the water there. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hmm. Well, so, if the ravine is here, let's try not to fall down it. <laughs> That'd be bad. Survive falling off the mountain. Not down a ravine. Okay. I think we're nearly home because this is what it was like to home, and I'm pretty sure it's just over or through this lake, and just up here. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I don't know where it is, like, that half-cut tree that's half-cut off doesn't look familiar, and neither does this house, but it could. <laughs> but it's so tiny. I reckon I should work on this one before I work on my other one having a main home is more important and I'm still cooking something oh yeah the iron just enough to make myself some iron pants there we go full set of iron but now that I am here and I've got some cobblestone maybe oh I'm running low I just need three pieces of cobblestone in there and I just need to get some more sticks there we go, seven. Well, should that be enough? Yeah, that should be enough. Um, I am using the crafting book just to let you know. Uh, yeah, I just need stone slab. Anyway, what could I do to improve this place? Like, first of all, I need to wait for this one little piece of stone. There we go. 
Now I can craft into some stone slabs. Then I could get myself my armor stand. Finally, use for an armor stand. Stand here. Hold my weapon. <laughs> Actually, no. Don't hold that one. Hold my brand new weapon. Well, not brand new, but... Yeah, it's newish. <laughs> and just take off my armor. Okay, I don't think I understand to put in my inventory at the moment. Like my hopper. And one more piece of armor. And here we go. There we go. That way I don't have to carry my armor on me. But how much wood? If I turn this all into wooden planks, there we go. It's not that much. But it will have to do. I've got, like, birch, eggs. Actually, I've got sugar and I've got pumpkin pie, too. Wait, well, not pumpkin pie. Uh, here. So, if I get two of each, I still have some left. Not only that, I can make myself some pumpkin pie. Two to be exact. There we go. Two pumpkin pie. That should be enough. <laughs> if you ask me. But anyway, um, where should I build this extension? Like, it's extending onto my house, so maybe out... No, not out this way. Why not here? Like, here should be a good place to start it. And yeah. So I just build up here. Just so, whoops. Just so I can start. Alrighty, and maybe I should go across like this. Hmm. I think this may be good. If I didn't keep on running out of wood. So I'm up to here. Then I need to go one more that way. Then. What after this? One more this way. Then in. And in. And then across like that. There we go. That should work. I hope. And then what? I probably need glass blocks, not glass panels, for this one. Because of uh, what light it is. There anyway, Just better go inside. Break the glass. I'm still leaving that little piece of glass there because... Or, do I need to? I could actually smash it and destroy this. And this. And lay actually down some floor, so... That would probably be a better idea. I know mobs may be walking on it tonight, but at least I'll be able to hear them. Great, my shovel broke, but as I said, always bring a spare. Okay. So this is nearly done. It's also nearly night, so I better not take too long. I was <laughs> not only will I hear the monsters, they'll be attacking me. So yeah. Not saying I want to happen, because that happened, like, last night, and yeah, there we go, will this be enough wood, it's just enough to finish the floor, and I've already got this door, so, yeah, there we go, oh, I better shut the main door, <laughs> I, that won't be good. I shut the door. I shut the door that probably mobs aren't going to walk into, but I need to shut the normal door. But anyway, better get to bed because, yeah. That way I can just skip through the night. And then I can continue on. So do I have an axe? Yes, I do have my axe. Actually, I should probably leave my fishing rod and anything I don't need in here. So my fishing rod, snowballs, gravel... Yeah, I probably won't need these, or this, or this. Well, I'll probably need the dirt at some stage. Oh yeah, and the boat. There's a spider right there, so... You need to just be careful. Actually, you need to be careful constantly. But anyway, just bed chop down this wood. Hopefully it's not hostile. I hope not, otherwise I'm in trouble. Where's he gone? No, he's trying to get inside my house. 
wonder if he knows I'm home. Anyway. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He'll just be trying to attack the glass. Alrighty. Sorry if I talk to myself a lot, it's just because, yeah, I'm getting this done, so I'm trying to talk as, at the same time. It's not that easy. For some people it is easy, but others it's not. Anyway. If I get in here, I should be able to chop that bit down, and that bit down. i also be able to chop down the wood from a safe, safe height, safe-ish height. <laughs> I would say it's exactly that safe. And then I also need to grab some sand. Like, how much of this do I need, you may be asking? The answer is, a lot. <laughs> I need a lot. Anyway. I thought I just heard a mob, like spider. But it is day, so they shouldn't be that hostile. Or well, they probably will be hostile, I'm not 100% sure. I hope it's not hostile. Otherwise that will be bad. Bad for me because I'll be at breakfast slash lunch. But anyway, that should be enough um, wood for now. So how much? Two stacks and eight, alrighty. Hello Mr. Spider. Sorry I had to do that, but I had to. Hey, why is that tree losing its leaves? That's a bit weird. But anyway, <laughs> just let it lose its leaves, let it do what it needs to do. How much, actually, how much glass do I have? I've got eight pieces of glass, that's definitely not enough. Alrighty, so I need to find some glass, or sand. It's probably more likely to be sand, but there's no beaches. Set that one over there, but... Oh, and there's also quite a fair bit of sand over here. Where's my boat? Oh yeah, I left out the other house. Well, I left out the house that I'm in at the moment. Not the other house. Alrighty, just stick up as much sand as I can. Just enough to make some windows. I'd probably do the torch trick, but it's a bit risky at the moment. I also dig a block down here. Oh, sorry, I just hit my mic. <laughs> sorry if it made any noise there. Well, nope. Wrong block. Oh well. Ooh, I even accidentally dug up the dirt block. <laughs> Maybe I should just dig up the rest of this sand. Alright. Here we go. And it should all wash. Basically this way. It's just getting out of it. There we go. How much piece of glass, uh, no, glass sand? I got 43. That should definitely be enough. It's just whether my furnace can smelt that much. It's going to be the question. But anyway, here's my mushroom stew. I'm just going to eat my mushroom stew. There we go. I wonder why it goes uh, like that noise. Sorry, I'm not going to do it because I'm horrible at mimicking that. But yeah, I wonder why. Also, how... Oh no, it just died. Why? Why did it just die? I need more coal. Do I have any coal? I need some more coal, please. No, I don't have any. No coal means no fire. Which means I need to go and get some more coal. Oh, come on. I thought it was going good there. Until I realised I had no coal. But I don't have any armour on, so... This is going to be a bit... Um, like a wait and see thing. I know I could always go and just chop down some... Look, I'm going to build the rest of... Wait, no. Because I need the um, glass to do the rest of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe I could chop down some tree. So, wait, this is a zombie villager? I know they spawn naturally, but isn't that rare? Hey, there's another zombie. There's another two. I'm sorry, zombie villager. If you're still living, I'd spare you. Literally. Or if I had gotten an apple and all that stuff to fix the zombie villager, I'd also help you, but I didn't. I think I can hear something. 
Not sure where, but I can hear something. Anyway, better just destroy this wood before any more mobs come and attack me. Like, the forest is quite thick that mobs can actually spawn, which isn't good. I've also heard woodland mansions actually spawn naturally in these types of biomes. Wouldn't it just be awkward if I kept on walking and I actually found one? That'd be so weird, but I don't have the food to continue to, like, do that. But anyway, all that's here is a big wall. Oh well. Just need to get this done. Chop down all this. I wonder if um the tree will actually start to lose it l its leaves. I didn't think it would because these are just outer bits. But it could be like a new game thing or behavior. Alright, so I'm going to have to make some charcoal now, which I'll probably do in the furnace. I've got on me. Well, I'll probably place it down and make some charcoal, but yeah. I don't even have any speed. Maybe I could get like, another red mushroom. Here we go. That should be enough to make one more stew. Another two zombies. Really? And this one's in gold. And a creeper? I don't have the energy to run. Oh my gosh. But the zombie villager will die. If he steps out into the sunlight. But it's the other one who won't. I don't think they know how to jump up. Oh yeah, they do. Alright, so just step away. Oh my gosh. There we go. He even gave me his armor. How generous. And it's gold. I do know I have a spare sword on me, but I don't have actually, I didn't actually have the time to pull it out. So wait, I do not have a spare sword on me. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> That's actually a bad thing. But luckily I have enough sprint just to get me home. And I am home. Alrighty. Just gonna grab my new light like, slash not new stone home. And I'm also now going to be smelting this wood. Alrighty, what else do I have? Oh yeah, I'm going to make my mushroom stew. Actually, I had enough to make two. Like, if I had another mushroom stew, like, another bowl. But I didn't. Alrighty, so... Where's the wood? I'm going to just keep an eye on that. So I only got two pieces of glass done. So I need to kill that with that. Oh no, don't do it. Alright, maybe if I um actually take one piece of charcoal out to smelt more pieces of wood to um, actually get more charcoal, that'll probably work better. But anyway, now I've got my mushroom stew. I'll just eat it in a minute. I still need to fuel this. It's like trying to balance two things at once. Alrighty. And I, could, I didn't mean to actually click that bed, the bed, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's still burning quite good. Need a spare charcoal for this one. And here's another one for that one. And here's some more glass. You know, I could actually use glass panels for that bit there, so. There we go. Now it's just glass for the rest of this. Here we go. Alright, so I'm nearly totally safe. Nearly because I'm not 100% safe. And anyway, here's another free. Hopefully I can get this all set up before it turns to night. If not, I'm going to be um probably in a spot of bother, but I'll just have to see. Since I am making this two blocks high, so if I get this at least one more piece, then I'll be able to work through the night. If I don't, I'm not able to. So just get this one piece up. There we go. I just need to light up now. Probably one over here. Unless any skeletons come, that's probably my real threat. If skeletons come, but hopefully they won't. Anyway, I need to keep an eye on these furnaces. So another one in there. But fill that up with 
Yep. Okay, I think I'm hearing some... I don't know whether it's an animal or what. I think it's just that pig there. So nothing to get too freaked out about. But anyway. Here's some more charcoal, which I just put in there. Not actually going that bad, if you think about it. So the reason why I'm making this room mainly out of glass is so, um, yeah, I have better view of the night time. But also so I can store more things. So basically think of it like a storage room. Is what I probably more think of it like. But anyway, that should be enough charcoal. Basically going to be me running back and forth. Wait a minute, but it's night time, so maybe I could go to sleep. That may be a better thing, that way there'll be enough time for the thing to actually burn. I just need to make sure that's got enough, yeah. That definitely has enough. So I'm probably just going to put another one in there. Just so it doesn't run out whilst I'm sleeping. And another two in there. Anyway, time to go to bed. Alrighty. So I just really want to finish off this room. Then yeah. Anyway. So I've got four pieces of glass at the moment. One, two, three. There we go, four. I'm nearly done actually. I just need to get the roof done. So do I have any more slabs? No. So I'm going to need to make some more slabs. There we go. Twelve slabs. That should be good. Alrighty, two pieces of glass. I reckon it's going to probably take more than that just to finish off this. But if you think about it, I've nearly finished this. Look at it. Well, okay, now look at it. But yeah, I just need to really get this done. Okay, another piece. Thank you. And how's this going? Alright, so probably feed that up with another piece in there and put the rest in there. And like now I can actually say it's nearly done. So I just need three more pieces of glass, then I'm done. Wait, no, that's the charcoal one. Come on, just one. Okay, I'll quickly just grab this, and I'll just come back for the last one. It's just one. One more. There we go. I'll let it smelt the rest. It's not really technically needed, so just put that there. Another one there. That way I can just jump on it. So what should I do? I should probably do what I did last time. There we go. Alright. Maybe I should actually jump up the way I should jump up. <laughs> probably make more sense. There we go. So what now? I think I'll just do it like this. So I'll need more slabs than what I thought. Alright, just put, mainly put some around the edge. Maybe I could turn nearly all these into slabs. I'm not 100% sure there. So, alright. I'll probably do around about 20, like, for each. Alright, 10 should be enough. There we are, 60. Now, hopefully 60 should be enough. Like, thinking about it, 60 slabs should be enough. Alright, and I accidentally fell then. Wait, what did I just... No, I thought I saw a flying horse there. Here's just a glitch. Just a glitch. Alright, I didn't mean to place that there. So just destroy that. Get my slabs back. And yeah. So I think I may just have enough slabs to finish off this roof. So this room's going to be quite a cool room. Alright, I think I'm nearly finished. There we go, I have finished. So let's go inside and quickly have a look. Alright, first of all I need to grab some food to eat. I don't think I have any, no I don't really have anything else. 
and just destroy this glass. Because it's not actually blocks. And this is the room. Not actually that bad. But yeah, I just have to um, end it here now. So if you did like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, everyone. Goodbye!